from around the world. We have multiple UFO videos from London and Las Vegas, including an update from Kilauea Volcano. But let's get to it right now. The raw footage. Roll with it. What the hell is that? All right, let's get a closer look. We're slowing the video down. We're gonna be supplying the original link below, but some people are speculating right now. This video has been put up on our Facebook. People don't know exactly what we're looking at, and I wanna get people's opinions of exactly what this is. This video is quite interesting, and if these are birds, as some people might speculate, why are birds glowing in the dark? Is there some kind of radioactive bird up there in the sky, a species uh, illuminating up in the sky, or is this some kind of illusion with birds being lit up by a spotlight below, but right now we don't see any spotlights. I want to get Brent's opinions and again, leave your opinion. What do you think is going on with this video? Yeah, I like this one, Blake. It basically shows a, an event that's happening. First recollection I thought could have been drones. We've seen videos like this that basically looks very similar to this, but it looks a little bit more organic to me. Uh, Blake, could they be birds? Oh, well, I would have to say most likely they are a massive flock of migration of birds creating a spectacle in the sky, but we're gonna leave it for you to decide. Now we got this video coming in. We're uh, hot with a lot of videos coming in from around the world. We're sharing them to you right now. Listen to this. This might not be a UFO, but there's something. Either somewhere there's a facility over there that has a bunch of blinking lights, or um, they're just UFO standing there, or why? I don't know what the heck's going on over there. Because what I see over here, these are all airplanes and stuff, but over there. But, uh, those over there don't seem like, they have blinking lights on top, but they don't seem to be planes. Not too sure. All right, let's get a closer look at what was captured over Las Vegas. We're slowing down the video. We're adding a little bit of brightness contrast. And uh, what is being captured looks to be a possibly a massive craft in the sky just hovering. You can hear in the video, the person speculates that he can see planes to the left. There's the Las Vegas airport. But when we do this still photograph, this doesn't look like any kind of commercial lineup in my opinion. This thing definitely seems stationary in the sky. It seems rather large, but it could be confused as maybe airliners coming into formation to an airport. But this thing doesn't look like any kind of airplane that I'm aware of. Again, we're gonna pull up a still off this video. And again, it's very strange. Does this look like any kind of commercial airliner that, that you're aware of, Brent? Yeah, I was looking at this and the other lights to the left, there's a difference between what we're looking at here. The big question is, could this, all these lights be connected? Could it be one large object? That would be something to behold. Maybe this is soft disclosure coming in from Area 51 and they're doing some experiments over Vegas or again, possible just, it could be control. It could be airplanes, Blake. Yeah, I'm looking at it again. We're uh, replaying the video right here. And there was some shaky moments. I'm grabbing the best parts of the video as best as I can. Next time, try and keep a steady hand when you film these UFOs. But does this remind you of the Phoenix Lights? It kind of reminds me of the yeah. Phoenix Lights again. Uh, coming to mind, something big just happened. Again, the original link is below. Take a look at it for yourself and leave your comments below. We're going to give more updates. 
in regards to the UFO activity, but what's been going on in our backyard is unprecedented. The earthquake activity is beyond belief. Probably over a thousand earthquakes within the past 48 hours, just right there at the Holly Mountain Mountain Crater. And what is this entailing? Some kind of new activity? What is brewing underneath this massive caldera that's collapsed on itself? It is absolutely uh, mind-boggling to think out how much this thing has changed over the past month and a half of the events that started. And now we're looking at a massive plume in time lapse as it's created from the Holly Mountain Mountain Crater. Watch this. Now, here are some video Brent and I captured in the early days of the collapses. And this is pretty much the last videos that you're seeing from the location as a massive ash cloud releases into the sky. This one approximately reached over 15,000 feet. And again, looking at this caldera, the activity has been flowing down towards Leilani Estates and the Fisher 8 is active beyond imagination. It continues to pump out extreme amounts of magma. Brent, what's your thoughts? Is this thing going to end anytime soon? Yeah, we're living in a hot spot in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It's been around here for millions of years. And I, you know what? Uh, the possibilities of anything stopping, I see a volcano that's basically, a, it's a birth of new activity. Who knows when it's going to stop? It could be basically the beginning or we just hope that it could stop tomorrow, but I don't see it happening, guys. And this is amazing video that we're looking at time-lapse photography of the real flow, actually what happened today. That's right, we're giving the latest updates right here at Third Phase of Moon of what's going on in our backyard on the Big Island of Hawaii. And the channel has been stable. No homes have been lost as of recent, but there has been a major fissure that we're looking at right now, and it's called Fisher 8. And this thing's not stopping. It's creating its own mountain. And to comprehend a mountain as the size of Fisher 8 being built within the past month and a half, it, it really has never been seen before. And the entry into the Pacific Ocean, some people are kind of worried that it could create some kind of mini tsunami, a large tsunami, but right now, I'm not too sure about this. What's, what's your thoughts, Brent? We're, we're going to talk about that later. Stay tuned for more updates. Blake Cousins, thanks, Brent. Keep your eyes on the skies. We'll see everybody again next time. By popular demand, Paul Baird is back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Available right now. Links are below.